Hello everyone, in this video tutorial, we will explore how we can use Google Gemini 2.5 for different vision tasks including object detection, image captioning and optical character recognition tasks. So let's start with what is Google Gemini 2.5. Google Gemini 2.5 is a vision language model released in Pro and Flash versions. So you might be thinking what is a vision language model. A vision language model can understand an image describe an image and it can look at an image as well plus it a vision language model can also read the text and it can generate the text as well so a vision language model consists of two things one is the vision part and other is the language part in terms of vision part a vision language model can understand describe look at an image and in terms of language part a vision language model can read the text and it can also generate the text as well so Germany 2.5 is released in pro and flash versions and both versions are multi-modal like uh, they can accept multiple types of inputs it can accept text input it can accept image input it can accept audio input it can accept video inputs as well and google gemini 2.5 pro and flash model can process up to 1 million tokens of context so as I told you, Gemini 2.5 is released in Pro and Flash version. Uh, like Gemini 2.5 Pro uh, outperforms like Flash version as well. So Gemini 2.5 Pro is designed for maximum capability and it delivers strong results on DOS such as code generation, long context reasoning, document analysis, and multimedia understanding as well. While Gemini 2.5 Flash provides a balance of quality and efficiency with lower compute and latency requirements. So over here, the performance comparison of Gemini 2.5 Pro and Flash models is done with other open source models and you can see and closed source models as well. And you can see that Gemini 2.5 Pro outperforms Gemini 2.5 Flash. Thus, both of these Gemini 2.5 Pro and Flash models out, outperforms many open sourced and closed source models as well okay so let's get started in the step number one uh like you can see that i will just delete the previous runtime and restart the runtime again so in the step number one uh we will install the google generative ai because we want to use the gemini 2.5 pro model and it's available under the google generative ai package after installing all those packages, then we will import all the required libraries. We will be using OpenCV Python, which is imported over here as CV2, uh, because uh, we require this library OpenCV Python to draw bounding boxes around the detected objects. Plus, we want to add the label above each of the or the class name above each of the detected objects. So, for this, we will use the OpenCV Python package. Okay, so like. Uh, then we'll also use the numpy library as well so like you might be thinking why do not we install the OpenCV python and numpy packages because they are pre-installed in the google colab and to display an input or output image in google colab notebook we require the image library so first of all we'll add initialize the gemini client with the api key so to get your google gemini api key you will just write google gemini api key over here and you can just go to this link and you can just click on create api key from here you will just select an existing project you will just create api key and now you can just copy this api key from there okay so now we have initialized the gemini client with the api key over here so now uh, i will be using gemini 2.5 pro because among the two variants, Pro and Flash, Gemini 2.5 Pro outperforms the Flash model. So I will be using Gemini 2.5 Pro in this tutorial, okay? So now we'll just creating an inference function. The input arguments to this function will be the image, prompt, and the temperature, which we have set for 0.5. Temperature value defines the how much creativity you want in your output, okay? So, so we have the image as an argument, we have the prompt as an argument in the image, we will pass the input image, the user will pass an image, input image and in the prompt, the user will pass a text prompt, okay. So now you can see that uh, here we have initialized the Gemini client with the API key. So now we are just trying to assess the Gemini 2.5 Pro model, okay. And so uh, and in the contents i will just pass the input prompt like the text prompt and the input image over here as well and here we have to set that temperature value which is set to 0.5 uh, which controls the 
creativity versus determinism in output okay and the output of this function will be the text response that is generated by the Gemini 2.5 Pro model so we now download some example images uh, that we will use for the testing purpose so I am downloading those uh, sample images from drive directly into this Google Colab notebook okay so now you can see over here we have this sample image this is the Bengal claim image okay this is a bus image over here okay so like this is an image like different players are playing soccer over here okay so now in the step number one we will read the image using OpenCV Python and uh, this will return me the I know here I am just using the image library which we have imported from PIL so that we can display the any input or output image okay so if i just want to display this soccer image i will just click over here copy path and you can add simply add this path over here and if you run this function this will display the soccer image over here in this google colab notebook okay so now as i told you that we will be running different vision tasks including object detection image captioning and uh optical character recognition tasks using gemini 2.5 pro okay so let's first perform object detection task. Gemini models support object detection, helping you to identify and recognize multiple objects with an image. So here you can see this is an example prompt which I provided. Uh, you can add that prompt as well. So what prompt I have added over here? Detect the 2D bounding boxes of objects in image. Detect the objects as accurately as possible. Review the results before generating the response. Make sure to generate correct bounding box coordinates. Okay. So this is my input prompt and here is the output prompt. I will just combine input prompt and output prompt uh, when I will pass into this inference function. So return just boundary box coordinates and label no additional text. And here we are just uh, reading the image using OpenC Python and we are just calling that read image function below. Okay. And in the results we will have the output which will be the bounding box coordinates and the labels. So let's run this. So this will take few seconds. So let's wait and until we get other response. So you can see we have the response over here. So oh sorry, I'm just rerun this again. So this will take few more seconds. Uh, let's wait for a response. Okay, so we have the results over here. So now we'll just clean the data, remove these strips from the start, and let's see uh, how our clean data looks like. So now you can see that if I just, so now you can see here we have just created a function, clean results. So we can clean the results for visualization. And now here I've just created a function, draw, bo draw bonding boxes. So over here you can see I'm just using OpenC Python rectangle function and put text function so that I can draw bounding boxes or rectangles around each of the reducted object and using put text function I will just add the text above each of the bounding box as well okay so let's run this so now you can see that Gemini 2.5 Pro out uh, performs or generates very good results in object detection like you can see that we are able to detect the persons in this image as well as the sports ball like the results look very fantastic like you can see that we are able to detect all the persons like this person was very blur but the Gemini 2.5 Pro model was able to detect this person as well so like you can see we are able to detect all the six persons that are in this image as well as the sports ball is also detected okay so now let's uh, perform this object detection on other input image as well. So I have this image like here we have the bus and we have these four persons which I can see over here. So now I will just define the text prompt, detect the 2D bonding boxes objects in image, detect the objects as accurately as possible, review the results before generating the response, make sure to generate correct bonding box coordinates. Okay, and here we have the output prompt, return just bonding box coordinates and labels, no additional text. And here you can see we are just passing our input image from here, you can just copy this from here and just pass this input image 
and let's see if we are able to detect all the four persons and the bus in this image or not okay so after we have the bounding box coordinates over here we will just clean the results for visualization then uh i will just call this function again like that draw boxes with read image like you can see in this function we are using opencv python to draw bounding boxes around each of the text obje directed objects plus we are also adding a label above the bounding box using put text function in opencv python okay so that looks quite promising and here you can see that we are just scaling the bounding box coordinates over here so let's see if we are okay so here you can see we have the results and now i will just see so now you can see that we are able to detect the bus we are also able to detect the four persons one two three four persons we have and the bus so the results look quite amazing like gemini 2.5 pro is performs very well in terms of object detection let's see how Gemini 2.5 Pro performs in terms of image captioning. So we have this input image where different persons are claiming their baggage. Okay. So here is the prompt. Look at the image and read a detailed caption. Like we are using image, image doing image captioning in one or two sentences that clearly describe what you see. Mention the main object, their actions, and the overall see. Be clear and accurate and do not get guess anything that isn't visible. Okay. So let's see if we can use Gemini 2.5 Pro for image captioning or not <clears throat> so this will take few seconds like you can see that it's currently in progress after image captioning we'll see how we can use Gemini 2.5 Pro for optical character recognition so here you can see we have the image caption a diverse group of travelers wait at an airport baggage claim Claim for their luggage. One man in a light blue shirt bends down to retrieve a black suitcase from the moving belt while other passengers watch and wait. Okay. Light blue shirts is claiming the baggage. Like that's correct. Now we can see how we can use Gemini 2.5 Pro for optical character recognition. Uh, so now we can see how we can extract the text and how we can extract the bounding box coordinates as well so extract all the visible text from the provided image as accurately as possible carefully review the extracted results before generating the response to ensure no text is missed or inter misinterpreted for each text element include correct bounding box coordinates the bounding box must precisely match the location of text in the image do not assume any text that is not clearly visible and here we have the output prompt return just bounding box coordinates which will be location of detected text areas plus label okay so we have this handwritten image that i'm passing in the input i want to extract the text of this handwritten image okay so my aim is to extract the text of this handwritten image so let's run this and see what results do we get so this will take few seconds before it generates a response for us then we'll just clean the results and then so this will take few more seconds before we get the response okay um, let's run this one more time i think i'm not getting what i'm expecting so let's just see okay so uh, now we'll just run this again okay uh no like you can see that in this case we are not getting a good response we might need to update the input prompt as well so let's run this one more time as i will update the input prompt next time Let's see. Okay. Okay. I'm not getting the bounding box coordinates are not correct. I'm not sure what the issue is getting. 
I might need to update the morning box coordinates. I not might need to update the prompt, okay, to get mm, the some accurate bounding box coordinates. Currently, it's not providing the correct bounding box coordinates. No, like I will update the prompt and I will sh show you the updated results now. So I am just rerun this again. I have not changed the prompt. And now you can see that it has generated uh, like good results. Like you can see that it is able to extract the text and it is able to provide the correct bounding box coordinates as well. Okay. So now you can see that we have extracted the text. This is a handwritten example. Right. As good as you can. So we can see that a Gemini 2.5 Pro gives some amazing results when it comes for to optical character recognition as well. So now you can see that we are able to extract the text from the image and hand, handwritten text from the image. We are also able to extract the bounding box coordinates as well. And now you can see that we are able to extract the correct bounding box coordinates and we are able to extract the text from the image as well. Okay. So that's all from this tutorial. In this tutorial, we have explored Google Gemini 2.5 Pro model and we have seen that how we can use this model for object detection, image captioning and for optical character recognition tasks. So that's all from this tutorial. Thank you for watching.